Hello and welcome everyone to this week's edition of the Redline Report. I'm your host, Reagan Payne. Today in Freight Findings, I've got some data on the climbing cost of hiring. In Recruiting Roundup, I sat down for an interview with Transco Alliance recruiter Heather Kennedy. I'm excited to share a bit of that interview with you here on the Redline Report. In Newsworthy Nods, Texas tops the truck driver drug alcohol violations list. Back to freight findings, the driver shortage is no secret as many individuals left the profession in reaction to the global pandemic last year. Even more were removed by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration's Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse. I've got those exact numbers and the amount that have not begun their return to duty process in the PDF linked below. According to HireMaster data, many companies are battling turnover cost of over 100%. Cost per lead had a $10 overall average last year, and this year the industry is averaging a $50 cost per lead. This obviously creates a domino effect in raising the average cost per hire. Last year, this figure averaged about $1,500. Now your average hire will cost $4,500. For Recruiting Roundup, here's my interview with Heather Kennedy. Building a rapport with the driver just yeah. right off the bat. You know, um, you've got to just get in there and uh, start talking to them. You know, Maybe not just go directly into what are you looking for, you know, yeah. like, how's it going, you know, yeah. where's, how's the weather where you are. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have to immediately jump in there and build a rapport with them. Yeah. I, uh, I actually sang to a guy on the phone the other day. So, I mean, it's just <laughs> it's literally anything, you know, to like make them laugh or, you know, make the situation very light. Yeah. So. What'd you sing? Um, he was talking about where we were. Um, he's like, where are you located? And I said, Little Rock. And he's like, Little Rock. And I started seeing like the old Reba McIntyre song. Yeah. Rock. And then he just started dying laughing. You know, he's like, that's fantastic. What's the most common question you get from drivers outside of, you know, we know they want to know about pay and home time, but what's something kind of outside of those general things that you hear a lot? Uh, trucks. They want to know what kind of trucks, what year model, what do you have in them? Um, you would be surprised at the companies that their trucks are just, you know, plain Jane. They don't have inverters. They don't have APUs. They don't have refrigerators. And uh, here we do. For Newsworthy Nods, the Federal Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse released new data on May 1st, 2021, showing Texas at the top of the list of registered truck drivers with a positive drug and or alcohol test violation with 7,268 violations. Searches for truck driving jobs in Texas is ranked 14 compared to each of the other 49 states, and this search achieved a peak on May 16th of 2021. Thanks for tuning into this week's edition of the Redline Report. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check us out next week for more.